say, man, I had a morning episode. I say it's a morning episode because, listen, people, y'all don't really know, okay? Now, look, I live out in the boondocks, and uh, I've been on E for a while, (laughs) putting gas from my lawnmower uh, into my gas tank, hoping Blackwater store would have gas soon. I was scared to venture farther off than that. So I've been drinking the hooch wine. <laughs> and uh, instead of my original brand boxed wine, you know, because it likes to be a little of a try to save the world, not let people know how much of an alcoholic I am with those jingling, jangling bottles. No. But, uh, so I got yelled at today because uh, I'll... I'll No, I think it's not because I don't want to... I didn't want to see if I could make it to the gas station in my truck. I was flipping the switch and flipping the switch to the tanks. Like, damn, am I going to make it? I had um, had doubts. What I think it is, is I just... Man, you know, I, I tell people about February as a very... Abrupt month for me, but it seems as if it seems as if uh, lately I just don't want to leave. I just um, I'm just kind of comfortable with the staying in, the, the not knowing where to begin, and um, I'm dealing with some stuff lately that uh, that's really putting a lot of a lot of negative my way. I tell you people about this negative shit, man. This shit fucking... Man, I'm... Uh, uh, and they just don't know. I'm just saying, you just don't... People don't know what I used to be. I'm not saying angry person. I used to be an angry fucking person. And I don't even know where all that anger came from all the time. I mean, I'm talking about youth gone wild anger. Like raging and the hyperactivity of me has always been there but the anger lord jesus let it just stay away that's all i gotta say because you people really don't know me like that you don't know me like that and then i don't even understand the processes of the things going on and shit right and i start to feel myself sway and i'm just like oh hey to a new day y'all know me but um Today's Valentine's Day. I'm just... I'm just saying. I, okay, look. I was with a man for 15 years who... Um, he never brought me flowers. Um, we didn't celebrate Valentine's Day. Um, we didn't do anything for each other. Uh, it's kind of like anniversaries, birthdays. Yeah, that's the kind of man I was married to. Um, He does never bought me flowers, I think, one time. And I think that that might have shocked the living shit out of me. I'm not even really sure when it was. That's how long ago it was. Um, Valentine's Day is hard for a lot of people. And I think it's just so media mainstreamed about Valentine's Day. Let's let's look at the history of Valentine's Day. Um... I don't know the history. I was told the history once, but I have forgotten it. I'm just trying to be truthful with y'all. I told you that there's a lot of information in my head. There's so much information in my head. Some things get misplaced um, or, or they just get lost for eternity and they, they shall never appear. Except for if you may repeat it to me and I might be like, yep, see, it was there. Thank you. For letting me know about, yeah, Um, but Valentine's Day is hard for people because they think they need a Valentine or they don't have a date or then this or Valentine's Day is a day that you know that you are alone and single. You have no one to tell you I love you. Well, I love you. 
Just letting y'all know that. I do love you. I love each and every one of you. I don't know you. Maybe I do. I don't know. But I love you. Okay? I love everybody. Um, <clears throat> there I go, contradicting myself. Shit. I don't love everybody. I don't have to love everybody. I have to love myself. And of course, I have to love my children. And I don't even know if I have to love them. I think it's like instilled in mothers that we, we got to love them. There's somewhere deep down in us and we know they're a piece of us. So we have to love them. We might not even want to love them. We got to, that's just, it's, it's mechanically programmed into our body. Well, at least for other people. Um, But if you're single and you're alone, Valentine's Day is buy yourself a Valentine. I mean, I'm being for real. Go to the store and get you a pocket pussy or a dildo. I mean, I don't know. Do something for yourself like that. I mean, being alone is not bad. In fact, when I start to get that way, and I do a lot, I get I get really lonely but I was married for so long and I was lonely then too so those haunted hallways have always been there but when I learned to accept myself and learn to um, find things to do by myself and y'all are the nastiest motherfuckers if y'all thought that comment was towards anything like that. I'm just saying, y'all need to get a grip, for real. I wasn't even talking about that. Though, um, (laughs) I'm pretty good at that, too. Listen, the, uh, what I mean is, is solitary confinement, for a lot of people, is very pleasurable. It is a very great journey. Now, I am not saying that I would walk through this entire world with solitary confinement for the rest of my life. But I will tell you this. Even if I chose somebody, I still want my solitary confinement. That's that's a very hard thing for people to understand. That I would still choose my solitary confinement. Because it's in it's in our moments that we're solitary that we find things about ourselves replay issues past things or we get to know ourselves and knowing ourselves has to be done first before you even choose to want to partner or um, someone to share your adventures with because without knowing yourself and loving yourself You're not going to do anyone else any good by being with them. Do you understand? Plus, you always have to think about how much your life will change with someone else. As in, your irks and quirks and whatever you do, okay, that's on you, dude. All right? Some people might not like that. And then you got to think about their shit that's all up in their selves. And then you got to mesh them together Think about that, people. Think about that before you start thinking about, I'm so lonely, I'm going to go get a relationship. And then don't rush into nothing just because you feel like you're lonely. Take time, you know? I see it this way. If anything in this whole entire life has taught me one thing, it's that a connection is a connection. A connection is either there or it's not it does not have to be force fed it doesn't have to be swallowed like one of those fucking antibiotic pills or something the doctor gives you when you get chlamydia see see it's another reason all the fuckers out there with shh I, I don't know I don't know I'm not end evolved I mean I I mean I'm telling you I was a, that's a beautiful tree sorry um there's what I'm trying to say is is it's just like I figured out how people some people can just lay down with other people and I'm I I I used to do that I mean what I'm saying is is I used to look for love in all the wrong places and 
and freely giving my body over like it was a pocket pussy. I mean, seriously, I was a hoe. I'm not going to lie. I was. It was something I felt like I needed to fulfill. And um, it's, it's not like that. I mean, it's really not like that. Now, the thought of laying down next to someone who there's no connection made, it fucking grosses me out. And when I hear people so casually about sex, and I'm not judging, I'm saying. That's what people don't seem to understand about what I'm just saying. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, how do you just freely just, you know, that's a lot of juices and and energy. Oh, God, the energy, man. I'm not smudging myself off for nobody. You're going to get me lost in what I was talking about. Well, really, it ain't you. It's the trees. But what I mean is, is um, you know, the connection that has to be made. And what I've learned throughout my life is that the connection's there or it's not there. You get it? Like, when I meet somebody, either I automatically can tell you, and, and a lot of people can do this, um, but I can tell you right then and there if me and you are going to click. Because your energy. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a force field. So, you're already... It's so hard to explain to people. I mean, it takes a lifetime of absorbing. I mean, I'm being being for real. I mean, it, it's not something that I can explain to anybody. It's something that has to be felt. Relationships are something that has to be felt from the inside. Friendships, anything. You know, people can have a bond or, or not a bond. People can know each other for years and years and be like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah. But is your connection there? Is it still something that you want to hold on to? That's why I try to tell people, especially on Facebook. Now listen to me now. The reason that I have so very few friends is this reason alone. I made a connection with you at one time in our lives. And for some reason, that connection is still in my mind and it still lingers. I still care to know about your life and your day. I still would like to see you be okay. But there are people who I've known for years and years too. And I don't want to know about their day. I don't want to share in their life. In fact, when they friend me, I feel like I need to run and hide. No, I'm just joking. Isn't that terrible? I'm feeling, see, I'm feeling mean today because it's Valentine's Day. And I get so sick and tired of all these people and, and then Valentine's and just fuck off. That's all I want to tell you. Fuck off now. I want, now I want to tell everybody that I love them. Well, the ones that I love, I love you. <laughs> and, uh. Happy Valentine's Day. And remember, dude, listen, man. If you're single, it's okay to be single. You know? When I when I did that date nap, I started to realize that it's okay. It really is. And, and I don't know. Like I said, it would take a lifetime to explain. So happy Valentine's Day. Peace.